Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. Hey, today we're going to be talking about snapshots and how to deal with snapshots. Maybe you're getting a weekly or a monthly snapshot and you want to be able to handle that dynamically. This is the data we've got right here. We've got snapshot, got category, status, project ID, project number or name, and a value. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to identify what is the most recent snapshot. So we're going to create a calculated field called max snapshot. The snap snap shot. Okay. This is going to be a level of detail calculation. Usually with a level of detail calculation, you need a fixed or an include or exclude, but I'm not going to be adding other any other uh, qualifiers on there, so I can just leave that off, and I'm just saying, of all the snapshots, give me the greatest one. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parameter, because you may not always want to just look at the most recent snapshot, I'm going to, although I'm going to call this current snapshot just because it works for me. We're going to change the data type to date. And we're going to come down here, skip this for a second. We're going to go list. Now this is something new that's in Tableau 2020. Instead of using a fix, which we've done before, you can now come down here and say when the workbook opens, you want to populate it with the snapshot. So as you add new snapshots, and I'm going to show you what that looks like, when you add new snapshots, it will auto populate into this field, which is totally awesome. All right, so for the current value, it gives you a default value here. Uh, value when the workbook opens, we want to change that from the current value. We want to change this to the max snapshot. Now, what that is going to do is the max snapshot is going to change each time additional snapshots are added to your data set. As that happens, this will auto change, automatically change to the most recent. I'm going to click OK. Now the next thing we're going to do, I want to do is sometimes you don't want to just add, look, actually we're going to show you what, what this looks like first. I'm going to bring the snapshot over. I'm going to change it to date. Every time I do that, it'll change to continuous. So you need to come back down and change that to discrete. Going to do the same thing with the max snapshot. Going to bring that over. Want to change that to date because that's what we want to see. That changes it to a continuous value. So change that to discrete so it'll show up as a number. Right here we go. Max snapshot. That's the most current. Now the reason we want this current snapshot, we're going to come back here. Step two. Sheet two actually. We're going to change this again because you're going to have values. I don't want line, I want a bar. You may only, you have a chart where you only want to see the most recent snapshot. So we're going to create a calculated field. Call this current snapshot. Oh, current, yeah. Snapshot. We'll call this true false. Just make it a capital F. And I'm going to say snapshot equals current snapshot. What this will allow me to do, if you can see that, because this is a parameter, I can now change the parameter to different snapshots, and it will only show the most recent. Although the default value is the current snapshot, December 1st, you may want to take a, go back and look at October 1st or August 1st. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to bring that over to Snapshot, and we're going to say true. Show you how this works. I'm going to show you the parameter over here. And now you can pick different items, and that will auto-populate. Hey, that's great, but you may also want to take a look at what the previous snapshot is, what the change is between snapshots. right? So I'm actually going to pull this off of this one for a second. I'm going to create a new deal. 
I'm going to create a new value because we've got the, we know what the current snapshot is. We need to create another parameter. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this edit. I'm going to call this previous snapshot because maybe, maybe people don't want to see, oh, you know, I'm going to have to hold off on that. Calculated field, previous, I'm going to call this snapshot previous. Now the way we do this, this is another calculated field, right? So we're going to say max again. This time we're going to put an embed an if then statement. So, as long as the snapshot is less than is less than the max snapshot, then snapshot. And what this is going to do is it's going to pick the highest one, the next highest snapshot value. All right, so we're going to hit OK. Let's go back to sheet one. I'm going to show you what that does. I know this is a real pain, but something has to be done. So that's going to give you November 1st. That's the previous snapshot. Now we can come back here and edit. Uh, we're going to call this previous and when it populates we want it to pull in all the snapshot values but instead of when it opens instead of being the max value we want this to default to the previous value so now we're going to come now we're going to come here. We want to show both the parameter, both parameters. And now we're going to create, calculate the delta. So what is the delta? These are going to be max values again, or level of details. We're going to say it's fixed. And this time we haven't add, we're not going to add a, uh, another field or dimension in there yet. We're going to say, give me the sum where the snapshot equals the parameter, right? We want to be the parameter because that's the one that we can change. Then value. And we're going to subtract, and you can do this on the same line. I just do it separate because sometimes it, when these formulas get a little complicated, it's easier to uh, see what's happening. And now we're just going to say if the snapshot equals the previous snapshot, then value. Okay, so this is saying, okay, give us a value that is the difference between these two. And because these are fixed, these values are going to be the same across uh, all these different items. And actually, we'll just pull this over just so you can see that it's the same value for each. That's the way fixed works. It says, forget about this thing here. For each value, uh, we're calculating a value that's going to be the same regardless of the rows. And that's because you have different snapshots and you're trying to compare values in the same uh, column, you know, trying to compare values in different snapshots that are in the same column, so it's hard to compare it unless you use fixed. Now we can put in, um, we could just put in the value here. And 
something doesn't feel right there. Let's put down. Let's put a snapshot. Put that up there. We're going to make this day. I don't want that to be a bar. And we only want we only want the snapshot for the one that we've got selected. Well, this is not what I wanted at all. Change this to discrete. That's the problem. All right. Something still doesn't feel right. So let's pull this. I did this earlier. I did the taping and it worked perfectly. And now that I'm here, I feel like I did the exact same thing. And obviously I did not. All right. So let's come here and let's get rid of this. Because we actually want the value. And maybe that's the issue. So we have value up there instead of snapshot delta. Rookie mistake. All right, so we're looking at the current snapshot. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay, we've got the current snapshot minus the previous snapshot. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see all those bars. And so that change should be about 500. It's 496. If we change the snapshot here to October and September, so we're taking the difference between these two, it should be about 30 or 20. There we go. All right, so I think you've seen how that works, the, but the parameters, you have to do a couple different things. Now let me show you, I'm gonna go into the data set. We're gonna save this file so that we can reopen it. And then I'm gonna go into the data set. So here we are, this is January. I'm just gonna copy January and I'm gonna paste it to the end. So there was their December data, just gonna paste January. And I'm going to save it and exit out. Now if you remember, we set the parameters so that they will be equal to the greatest, the max snapshot, and the previous snapshot. So which it should be, let's go to the, when we pulls up, we're going to go to the dashboard. It's already set itself automatically to the January number. And then this is recalculated to the previous number, right? And so you've already got these charts are already populated for with the delta between January and December. And so that's how you can make the snapshot work. The one caveat I will make to this is your data source must be a live connection. If it's an extract, it's not going to work because you have to refresh the extract. You have to pull the data back into the extract. So this approach only works if you have a live connection. Hope you guys found that useful. Let me know in the comments what you think. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.